Hi, my name is Sozica. And my name is Anna. We are postdoctoral researcher working in Queen Mary University of London in the Department of Material Science and Engineering. We are analytical chemists and we are involved in elite sport research. ESPRI specializes in elite sport performance research. ESPRI develops technology to wirelessly monitor and provide information on the athlete's performance under normal training and competition environments. We are developing biosensors which will help improve the athlete's performance. These sensors can be used to monitor different fluids from the body, like blood, tissue and sweat. The information we get from our chemistry research in the lab using these sensors can be used to improve the training program and follow the progress of the athletes. During intensive exercise such as running or cycling, the muscles in our body need more oxygen. When the body has enough oxygen available to do exercise, this is called aerobic exercise, which means with oxygen. The body limits the amount of oxygen in the blood that can be transported to the muscles in our body during intensive exercise. When the amount of oxygen runs out during intensive exercise, this is called anaerobic exercise, which means really oxygen poor. When the body shifts from aerobic exercise to anaerobic exercise, the body reaches a point called lactic threshold. It is at this point where the large amount of lactate is produced in the body during intensive exercise and the anaerobic conditions results in lactate not being removed as fast as it is produced. The buildup of lactic acid in our body is responsible for the stitch and aching of the muscles that you can get during longer distance running and exercise. In our lab, we are developing sensors for continuous monitoring of analytes like oxygen, glucose and lactate in tissue. The same analytes can be measured in blood. Also, we are developing uh, sensors for sweat monitoring of analytes like pH, sodium ions and lactate. There are large variations in sweat rate and sweat concentration between different individuals, but also within the same individual in different body parts. Therefore, to obtain good results, repeatable results, it is necessary to put the sweat sensor always in the same location. Some parts of body sweat more than the others. High sweat rate places include forehead, chest, lower back and hands and we prefer to put sweat sensors in these locations like back and uh, chest and hands because they are also easily accessed. This platform can be integrated into a belt worn during exercise. The advantage of it is that monitoring can take place anywhere including the running track. It is non-invasive sensor and therefore it can be used readily by any person interested in improving their performance. that I started to realize that I really enjoy to be a scientist when I was in high school because I had a teacher uh, who was teaching us with so much passion and love towards his subject and showing us so uh, exciting experiments and after that it came the curiosity why it happens so it uh, came naturally to me to become a scientist. Mm -hmm.